I'm going to do the reading. And uh, Second Kings, chapter three. Second Kings, chapter three, verse sixteen. He said, Thus says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain. Yet what valley shall be filled with water, so that you, your cattle, and your animals may drink. So now verse 20. Now it happened in the morning when the grain offering was offered that suddenly water came by way of Edom, and the land was filled with water. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We praise the name of the Lord. Because every coldness has been removed. Your angels are ministering among us. The fire of the Holy Spirit is, has involved us completely. And we praise your name for the songs that bring brought comfort to our souls for the joy of being in your house. Now we ask that in your word that I may not be a hindrance to prevent your project to be fulfilled tonight. Speak to your people, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. The text that we read, my brethren, the people of the Lord was going to a battle. The enemy army was much greater in number. And the word the Lord the Lord gave to these people was a word that was at least um, unusual. The, the path the Lord gave for the people to go into battle was the following. Go to the path of the desert. Go to the path of the desert. That, that was the strategy that the Lord used not to make His people victorious. But the Word says that the people was already walking for days. The animals were, were thirsty. The people was hungry and thirsty as well. And in those occasions, desperation comes. In those moments, many times, we forget what the Lord has spoken to us. But the Lord never makes a mistake. That's why our walk is not by sight. We walk by faith. The service tonight is for this. It's so we can exercise our faith. Because prayer is the key of everything. And in the midst of the situation and this confusion, everybody was uh, discouraged in the middle of the desert. The Lord gave an order to the people. Dig on this valley, on this desert many ditches. And the first teaching that the Lord is giving to us in this message is here. Because in order for us to dig ditch, we cannot dig it with a um, nose up. In the middle of the desert, in the middle of the trial, the order of the Lord is dig ditches, bend, kneel down, plead to me, Seek my face. Forget what you, you think. Think of 
Let's forget what you think. Don't think about your circumstance. Dig ditches. Today, from the beginning, first action of this service, we are digging ditches. In the word of the Lord continues, continues selling, continues selling, and um, saying, you you're not going to see rain or wind. However, this valley will be filled with water. Is it possible, my brethren? Is it possible a valley to be filled with water? Although you haven't seen a movement of uh, sh uh, rain or wind, but the valley be filled with water. What is the name? Do you know what the name of this? It is a miracle. It is a miracle. And we live off of miracles. And there is a song that says the following. When he is in silence, it's because he is working. Many times we are in situations where we don't see any movement at all. But we can trust in the Lord. You know why? Because God does not reject prayer. Prayer is food. I've never seen a just without an answer. You're not going to be without an answer tonight. God has a word for us. The Lord also has given a vision in which we enter into service tonight to take possession uh, of lands that were not ours. And um, an office officer was here uh, among us there so he could give us, uh, put the land uh, on our name. The blessing is yours. The, the officer is here present and a uh, red flag was placed in this place. Our victory is, in the name of, uh, is given to us by the power of the name of Jesus. The victory is given to us. The flag is there. The verse said, and in the morning, as they offered, made the offering to the Lord, making the offer, what offering was that? The people could offer it in different ways to the Lord. There was the offering of uh, Holocaust, the offering of the uh, uh, sacred sin. There are many. There were many types of offerings, and in many of the 
uh, most of these offerings there were shedding of blood but the offering of uh, that I'm talking about uh, also known as the offering of the cereals the, it is known as the offering that had no shedding of blood and this offering speaki speaks to us very much tonight because the blood has already been shed for us the deliverance the victory of the Lord the peace for our soul the joy that we need to con to keep going going have already uh, achieved in the cross the blood shed the offering the people could not offering couldn't not offer anything didn't have to offer anything with blood because the blessing had already been decreed and the waters came from the path of Edom and filled the entire land showing that in everything that was said tonight the word that one day the Lord gave to the people was fulfilled the army of the enemy when they came they were deceived they were confused because the valley was filled, filled with water and when they saw the valley they saw the water like if it was blood the victory was on the blood I'm going to repeat to you brethren the victory was on the blood on the blood of Jesus the valley was filled with water today the fountain of water of the Lord is going through here now we're going to kneel down my brethren I'm going to finish the service seeking the Lord place your life in the altar of the Lord we're going to sing also another song dig a ditch tonight at this moment Was in the name of the Lord. Glory to God.
up off the heart, Lord. Let us finish the service. Standing, we find the name of the Lord. Singing the second part of this song. Bless be the name of the Lord. Hold your name, Lord. The Lord is our strength. The Lord is our sustenance. The Lord is our help. Now we're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. Lord, we praise your name, Lord, because our salvation came from the blood. The salvation, Lord, came from your suffering, Lord. That's where we glorify and praise your name, Lord. Because if you were here today standing, it's because one day you died for us. Glorify, Lord, because you are faithful. Because you are God of gods. There's nothing that you may not uh, overcome. We praise the Lord everything that you have done for us. Praise the Lord for the simple fact of our salvation, for the peace that we can feel, the peace that we have even going through trials and difficulties. We can feel the peace from the Lord. That's why, Lord, we praise you. We praise your name. We don't have words to express how much we love you. Because you loved us first. That's why we want to give our sincere praise. We want to give you glories and alleluias. Because you are God. We praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Only the Lord is God. We give your, our gratitude to you, Lord because our soul has been satisfied. Tonight, we leave your house, take possession of our lands, take possession of our victory. We raise your name up high, because when the name is silenced, the Lord speaks, and your voice is wonderful. We praise you, because we know that in another day, Oh, you have sustained us. There was not in us any means for us to be here tonight, but you went ahead of us. 
because you are our strength. We're thankful to you, Lord, because one uh, people, some people trust in horses and other trust in cars, but our trust in the Almighty God. Lord, receive our service and our gratitude. Send us home in peace. So we pray, therefore, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. If any of the brethren wants a prayer, we are here at your disposal to pray for you.